Hi Scorpio, welcome to annual forecast for 2019 and welcome to Taiwan. I'm actually on a vacation right now, okay? Um, the Leo, Virgo and Libra forecast needs to wait for a little bit because I recorded that in advance and the sound and the videos are not really of a good quality, okay? So I have to redo that again. So anyway, let's start off with Scorpio. Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Capricorn, okay? All right, let's take a look at your January forecast. Oh, Scorpio, travel. First month of the year. All right, good news coming your way. Okay, some will also be expecting, and some are also trying to be pregnant, and now this is the right month, or this is the right time for you to conceive or to have a family or to create a family okay somebody from the past is also coming back your way but you need to protect yourself from this toxic person because it seems like this person will only bring in nothing but trouble it's a fire sign all right let's take a look at your careers and finances Huh, you're really traveling this month. You're going to be fighting for what you believe in and for what you feel like is right and victory will be yours down the end of this month. As for your sex life, being a little bit more exploratory, adventurous, experimental, insecure, and well, fighting your insecurities more of another temptation that's going to be coming your way for those who's already taken, married, or already in a relationship or domesticated relationship with a fire sign. Let's push this up a little bit further so that all the cars can fit. Alright, the world, the tower, queen of swords, two of cups, three of cups. Looks like you are in a competition with someone that your spouse is working with. And that is an air sign. Okay? The betrayal, the ten of swords also came out. The nine of coins. The Fool, the Strength, the Lovers, and finally for your health card, or for your health, yeah, reading. Exemplar of bowls. Death. Five of arrows. Feeling a little bit vain. Being so conscious of your skin. 
be so conscious of how you actually look like on the outside. Bones are getting so brittle, especially if you are pregnant. It seems like your pregnancy or your baby's eating up more, most of your calcium. All right, now you will be traveling in the second week of first two weeks of this month of January, and it seems like there is a very good news that's going to be coming your way. Okay, now personal and professional. One, you will be sent out to represent a company, or there will be a business trip that you're going to be taking, which will lead to another success and possibly promotion. Second, when it comes to your personal stuff, it seems like if you are trying to get pregnant, or if you and your spouse or wife is you know you're trying to get pregnant you will be you will have a uh, like a positive result okay like a, it will be positive now the good thing here is harmony will be restored in your relationship okay and I will still be um, I will still have to read for the singles okay which is I've already included in here so that we can shorten it up now for those who's already married, there is somebody from the past, which is a fire sign, that will be dipping back into your life again. Now, please take note that you need to protect yourself against this person because this person will bring you nothing but trouble again, just like how they did before. Okay? Now, this person is a liar and this person is only, you know, they only needed something from you. That's why they want you back. And they're going to be so sweet and romantic, humble and, you know. And all those stuff but you know what you know better than this person because you've been together for quite some time roughly for less than a year or nine years or nine months and you got nothing but a lot of trouble misery and drain all of your finances okay it's time for you to put your foot down and you're already in the right track you're already in the right relationship with the right person no relationship is perfect except that you are the only one who can embrace the imperfection and make the perfect sorry and make the imperfect uh, situation perfect okay um, and you can't always find whatever this is missing in your partner from another person okay so at this point you're already in the right track already in the right direction your relationship or marriage is already um, you know turning for good and turning into the right direction except that there is a distraction that's going to be coming your way so that's all really up to you for you to surpass and for you to say no because you have to all right now when it comes to your careers and finances you feel so at home and you feel like this is you know you feel like this is the uh, your uh, what do you call this where you really belong but somehow you're looking for a new adventure a new excitement and you roll okay and I feel like your company feels like you're ready for a new beginning for a new uh, position new obligations responsibilities and they will be surprising you with a recommendation is you will be visiting the uh, the office of the it's a high key decision maker it's not just the office of your boss but it's the boss of your boss okay and you'll be very happy because you've been waiting this for a long period of time you've tried to show them that you can do the uh, you know even the impossible and they have observed you fairly for how many months how you performed how you love your work and how dedicated you are to the company and now you they are going to be rewarding you this year for all of your efforts okay however there is somebody who will try to steal the limelight away from you and there will also be a bit of a slander that's going to be coming your way and that's also going to be happening right behind you but you're going to be able to surpass this get over this move on and turn this person down and make them you know pay for whatever they are going to do right behind you your bosses and your colleagues will respect you more and love you more all right just try to deal with things in the right way and amicably okay not so much not much uh, more of a drama so just try to avoid that all those uh, you know uh, non-essential bickering back and forth and verbal arguments and stuff like that because they're just going to try to infuse your anger so that you will lose it yeah okay lose your temper lose your opportunity and lose your uh, your charm from your bosses 
Now, when it comes to your sex life, single and married, it seems like you will try to restore what's been like dying down, okay, from the, in the past. Like, for example, that you've been so busy with work and you rarely have sex. And now this month, you're going to start picking up the pace and you're going to, you know, you're going to be very active and you're going to be so hot and passionate and you're going to be very, it's like you're going to show, you know, that there's still much of an attraction between the two of you and you're also going to be very um, adventurous, exploratory, experimental, you know, a little bit as well. But um, you also need to fight off your insecurities as well, okay? Um... There has been some gaps, communication problems, and things that you did not really, um, you know, uh, what do you call this, like uh, agreed in the past. But that doesn't mean that your partner is already looking for someone else. You're just way too paranoid and you're just way too insecure because, you know, there are some things that you cannot also do and uh, deliver to your relationship or marriage. But now, now this, this month is the right time for you to make it up. All right, and your your spouse will also try to make it up to you, so that's a very good thing. Not to mention that you are gonna be, um, you're gonna be lucky to have a positive result if you want to have a baby. Okay, now singles, singles, you are so disappointed with how your love life is going, how your love life is swirling, because it seems like you keep on failing and having that um, kind of false hopes, okay? Especially if you recently dated an air sign that just keep your hopes up and then nothing, you know, just left you hanging right in the middle of the air and you don't even know where is this going. And there are a lot of questions that's already been popping into your head. If, you know, how long are you going to be dating? How long are you still going to be like this? And there are also some questions about which place is it? Okay, is it my place or your place? Now, you always have this question that why is it that I cannot visit his place or her place? Why is it that it's always my place? And, you know, they, they're just full of alibis. And at first you try to understand because it's all, you're only dating new and it's you know it's it's very fresh but now that you've been dating for past six months or more than six months everything is now starting to become a little bit dim and you're starting to question everything especially their motive their intention and their feelings for you because you feel like it's not really going anywhere now there is also a person in the picture which is you are competing with another well, this is an older air sign, another air sign, and um, it seems like the person that you're dating doesn't even know what do they want. Because I got the, the I got the ten of swords. Okay, so it seems like this uh, person that you're dating is into multiple dating or multiple relationships. Okay, and right at the end of it, I feel like. If you, really, if you really want to have a commitment, then this person will commit. But there is no guarantee of faithfulness and loyalty. Okay, so you better read the red flags right before you commit yourself into this person. And make sure that this person really does feel the same way as you. It's not just one-way highway. Okay? Now, when it comes to your health... You need to rehydrate and you need to opt for some, if you can, okay, like seafood soup and coconut oil or coconut, sorry, coconut juice or coconut milk juice or coconut milk, something like that. And you also need to rehydrate water therapy and try not to use... Mm, any soap or cream or foam or whatever it is in your face just try to use water because for those Scorpios who's been having some allergies and acnes okay 
it's it because it seems like it's never ending and you're you've been having some bumps and itchiness in your face it is because of something that you have used and it created an, an allergic reaction something that you have used recently and something that you have eaten recently so it created an allergic reaction to both okay just try to wash your face with water and then you know just try to dry it off and uh, don't use any soaps or cream or whatever it is for now well except that when you're going outside and wearing makeup you know that's always a different story what I'm trying to say is when you sleep and when you wake up in the morning you also need to increase your intake of calcium and uh, you know a supplement for your bones uh, for women be careful and take care of your breast and um, abdomen you also need to get back into shape and uh, try to offer some more uh, physical activities except if you are pregnant okay you also need to stop smoking or curb down your smoking because you will slowly lose your taste you will also have some problems with your gums if you are slowly noticing that your gums keeps on getting swollen okay um, you will also find some more energy peace and happiness if you'll be mingling with your friends and family you also need to trim down your you know your junk food binging and you'll also be very conscious of how you look like on the outside because of your allergies and acne and some it's it's just a minor allergy but it's much better for you to go and check out with the doctor because it might get worse okay and asthma attacks and bronchial problems you will also be crafting your own no, not really own fashion but something more like your accessories because you don't want to just follow the trend you want to create a trend okay so if you're also thinking of creating your own line of fashion or creating your own line of accessories then this is a very good business for you you also need to turn your back into a food lifestyle okay especially eating so late at night and missing out uh, meals on time as for your body and your immune system your health will slowly pick up by the end of the month and you just need to take care of your teeth and go for something organic and try to offer some wheat and barley all right to help you further let's take a look at your February forecast We can save more time this way because I, uh, you know, I've all, I've all been laid down all the cards. And one spread. Now let's take a look at your February forecast. Moving on. Oh, transition. Starting all over again. Keeping your walls up. Receiving good news, communications. Working on your hunches, acting on your hunch. Uh, a very promising opportunity, truth that will also be coming out plus. An approval of loan or mortgage if you're trying to get one and another travel although in general it seems like this month is going to be very average for you
Berkeley seems so good. And success will be coming your way. Wow. Although you can't really avoid that there will be some people who try to backstab you and try to infuse you with their jealousy and spite. No? Now for the singles. Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands, the Handman, the Lovers, the Sun. Ace of Coins, Seven of Swords, ooh, the Chariot, mm -hmm. sorry, dropped the card, the Tower, Queen of Swords, Paraffant, High Priestess, act on your instinct. Emperor, Two of Cups, Three of Cups. Nine of pipes, two of pipes, hmm. uh, you need to be careful with your breathing, especially if you have an allergy or wheezing. For those uh, Scorpios who's born in the year of the rat, be very careful with your health for 2019 because it's not going to be a very favorable year for you, okay? All right. Now, it seems like there is a situation that you will be walking away from, moving on. You'll be very practically minded and you would just somehow feel like, why do I need to indulge myself in this kind of toxic situation when I can just really, you know, move on and uh, just free myself from this, you know? Although it will hurt, but you're just fairly ready for a new beginning. And you will be walling yourself up. You will be putting some boundaries. You'll be cutting off the cords and cutting off the communications. Yet somehow this other person, which is more likely a fire sign or an earth sign, will be reaching out to you. And it seems like they're right in the middle of the must. Whatever their intention it is to you, it is going to come out in the surface. Okay, Meaning that they're going to be telling you what do they really want from you and you will somehow feel like I knew it you know and I made the right decision so it's time for you to close the door it's time for you to really build your walls up high and thick and big and it's time for you to really you know let go of this person once and for all because this person will bring you nothing but difficulties and dignities and trouble while you're going to be uh, focusing much on your new project and your work, and you will also be traveling right at the end of this month, but you will still be waiting for this person. It's like, you know, this person, this fire sign will try to blackmail you, and you're also a little bit 
you know, quizzical, you're all, you're all, you, you won't have that much peace of mind because what if this person will, will really do whatever they've been uh, threatening you of? Okay, so I feel like you need to set it, it set some boundaries to put your foot down once and for all because I feel like this person only needed something from you. I don't feel like it's just it's not I don't feel like it's only sex, but it's more than that. Okay? And you will be breaking free. Don't worry, you can do it, you can make it, and you can work your way through it. Now, when it comes to your um when it comes to your finances and career, good news. Okay, new project, new beginning. The recommendation letter that you've been that, that your manager have promised you, it will also be coming this way, or sorry, this month, or this uh, first two weeks of this month. And changes are also coming your way. You will start looking back into the past, how you have, um, how you have reached wherever you are right now, and you will be feeling a little bit nostalgic. You will also be more eager to, you know, to, um, to prove yourself that you really deserve this kind of break and deserve, deserve this kind of opportunity. However, right in the middle of the month, someone will be spreading some rumors or will be slandering you. And this is somebody that's just around your age. And uh, you've started both at the same time in, in this company. But uh, this person is, this person is um, very envious at this point because it seems like both of you worked your way up. Well, to be fair, this person is also brilliant and good, but uh, they are not really that much of, um, they don't have that much of an appeal, okay? So this person will somehow think that you're using some sort of a magic or whatever it is or tricks to the management. That's why they're very fond of you. And you'll be cutting off the course and you will also be cutting off your communications ties and friendships with this person and continue with your journey and with your success sex life it seems like it's gonna be like on and off on and off and whatever that have hurt you in the past it will come again this time and you will you know both of you will be bringing it up and there will be some hatred that will also be you know coming right in between the two of you but then at the end of the day you will try to make things up and you will try to make it with each make it up with each other and try to be a little bit more mellow try to release the past release the grudges and release the domination okay because you want to be equal partners and you want things to you know you want um things to be a little bit better than before Plus, you'll also be exploring some anal position this month, right at the end of this month as well. And both of you will somehow like it and will be, you know, sharing a bit of a laugh and, uh, you know, you'll be making fun of each other. And the insecurities that you've been feeling in the past, it will slowly move away, fade away, and at least you're, you can try to, you know, to put it all behind you, at least. Okay, singles. An air sign that you've been waiting to commit turns out to be either they're already married or they're already with somebody else. Okay, for such a long period of time, and you will be discovering it. Yet, despite of the revelation, you will still continue continue with the with the situation or with the um, with the relationship. And for you. You can try and stay with this person as long as you can feel their love, their attention, and that, you know, they, they still have feelings for you or their intention is really clean and that they're going to be helping you out in whatever way it is. Changes are also going to be coming your way, but then right after getting what they want from you, getting, like, you know, getting you in an exclusive relationship then there will be some expectations and promises that will not be fulfilled and this is the start of you to open up your eyes you never learn your lesson you just keep on repeating same mistakes over and over again and going in circles it's time for you to put your foot down and be the boss of your own journey or destiny and you need to follow your own calling 
there is somebody around you which is more likely a friend a close friend okay that that's been keeping their feelings or that's been hiding their feelings for a long period of time so instead of sticking around with someone who's already married why not try to open up your eyes and you know why not try to open up your eyes and recognize the feelings or admiration from this other person which is a water sign when it comes to your health again for some women try to take care of your bones and your breast and try to nurture yourself you will also be an early riser or most of the time you will be waking up at three o'clock in the morning because of nothing okay and you will just try to go back to sleep but then you cannot really sleep it's not that you will have lack of sleep this month but you will somehow feel yourself waking up right in the uh, during the odd times in the morning okay what you can do is just try to get back in shape and try to keep yourself warm with some light exercise or rigid exercise if you want you also need to, to stop smoking or to use an alternative so that you can save your lungs from getting so infected and losing it you also need to remove or move away from a food um, food lifestyle or not really eating up on time and oh and uh, eating some microwavable food that is full of preservatives you know that's not really good for you it will hurt your liver your immune system will will um start backing up migraines still some facial allergies and try to eat some healthy food lessen your carbohydrates no rice for a little while and uh, offer something organic and try to detox and ask your ask your physician or doctor how to get the um how to be tested for uh what do you call this like um parasites okay that's not really a good thing because i feel like you you actually get this from uh, eating raw food let's take a look at your march forecast i will be pulling out your uh your oracle cards later on okay let's take a look at your march forecast invitation to attend a gathering which you're gonna be like oh attending a reunion during this point but you will have second thoughts whether you should attend to this event or not ah, betrayal from a fire sign again travel again at this month you'll be traveling within the next two weeks first two weeks of this month March Mm, 
insecurities again. Jealousy, and uh, there will be some soaking that's going to be happening this month. But then your partner will be making you feel so special. And also, instead of fighting, they're going to try and woo you. Wow, that's really sweet. Singles, you're going to be moving. I hope you're not moving in with someone right away. Oh, with an air sign. Okay, this those will be your will be your concern this month especially if you've been feeling some pain in your pelvis and you've been having a hard time getting up Now, as for your March forecast, you'll be attending a um, like a family event or gathering or somebody close to you, which is more likely a wedding, baptismal, anniversary, birthday, or party. And you, you, you know, it's like you're you won't be in the mood to to socialize or to attend a big gathering at this moment. But then you will still have to go, okay? Because um, you will feel so obliged. Now, some people from the past and some old works and colleagues that you will be, you know, that you will be um, seeing, I also feel like you'll be attending a reunion at this point because there are some people from the past that, you know, that it looks familiar and that you once worked and have fun with or an old, you know, old group of friends that you will also be meeting. So you will have a break. Okay, too. This is also a good, uh, good time or good opportunity for you to unwind and for you to whisk off all the stress that's been um, compounding inside your mind and uh, that's been like, um, you know, restraining your energy as well. Now, you were thinking that just because that you've already moved away from the fire sign by the by the middle of the month, you will somehow feel like you're already free. Okay. You're free and you're already good, you're doing good, you're doing okay, and you're finally able to run away from this person. However, you will find out that this person had done something, more likely spread out an information to your, that will be affecting your work reputation, okay? Let's see if, but there will be some sudden turn of events, and the justice that you will be seeking will actually be served to you and this person will be responsible for whatever they're going to do and you will still be traveling again again by the end of this month I feel like you will be putting this person right to where they really belong for real good for them now when it comes to your careers and finances again travel and there will be a sudden turn of events there will be some you know, from bad things to good things, from good things to bad things, and you'll be more likely on a roller coaster month this month of March, and 
things will just settle down right at the last week of this month so you can finally breathe a sigh of relief and uh, you can relax a little bit because finally the chaos and the problems all those um, stressful events that will be coming into your life for the first three weeks of this month will finally be at ease and um, you can have a peaceful foundation or a peaceful start of a new foundation altogether. You will also be protected by those people who believe in you, respect you, and relies on you. Good for you. Sex life. It seems like this person, this fire sign person, will still keep on pursuing you, but then you will keep on blocking them. Or you will keep on blocking this person and um, cutting off. Okay, they will try to seduce you how they used to do it in the past, but then you will just say no altogether. Sexually, I feel like there's still an attraction between the two of you, but then you just feel like this is not really the right attraction or not really the right connection anymore. You just need to say no, okay, and cut it off once and for all. And you don't want to, it's like you don't want to uh, cheat on your partner and ruin whatever that's been being restored at this moment, okay? which is good. Singles, you'll be very happy momentarily for the first two weeks of this month, but unfortunately, things will suddenly change when you will be discovering a lie or a deception that you will hear from another source or another person right after your travel and right after you coming from your business trip. And all of those lies, deceptions, masks, um, truth, and this person is also wearing a mask. Will be coming forward alone with their lies. You will be confronting them. There will be some bickering and bantering. But then this person will just show no remorse and no whatsoever. Okay? So you will somehow feel like, did I really make the right decision? Now, you will still be in a hurl like this. Okay? Like, even if you're seeing some red flags already or even if you're... You know, if, this, if the other person is already showing you narcissism and toxicity, you will still keep on questioning yourself, and but you will still proceed with the relationship for like seven months, but hopefully not within seven years, okay? And you also need to rely on your good friends for their advices, and it's time for you to make a decision and step out of this toxic situation before it takes a toll on you. Now... Health-wise, I feel like you just need to stay out of the uh, crowded area because of the, the smell. You're going to be very sensitive to smell and heat and suffocation. Plus, don't stay too late at night. Your health will start picking up. You just need to eat on time. Your immune system needs some boosting. Be careful with wild animals and toxic, uh, sorry, some, um, what do you call this, some exotic food and dishes. You will also find more inspiration and more... You know, happiness because finally the harmony within your relationship and within your domestic life will be restored. And you also you will also be opting for some green stuff, green food and green, um, like for example, like salad, okay? Oh, and uh, you will be craving for um, spinach this month. And aside from that, you just need to be careful with your kidney, gallbladder, and then your pancreas all right let's take a look at your april forecast Let's take a look what will be in store for you this month of April.
Now, single Scorpios is all within a relationship, okay? Someone will finally be proposing to you, especially if you're with another water sign or earth sign. Well, now, also for those who's been in a relationship or who's been dating somebody for roughly eight years now, three to eight years, this person will finally be making a huge commitment and huge sacrifice just to be with you or to move wherever you are, especially if you're in a long distance relationship. Now, hmm. oops, that actually flipped out. Let's stick the, let's add this up. It seems like there will be some difficulties that's going to be coming your way when it comes to your workplace. And two water signs, one older, one younger, that you're going to have some arguments okay and uh, some offensive verbal uh, arguments that will also be coming in between the uh, the three of you okay it says that you have to work with this two people every day then it's going to be very hard for you to act professional and act civil since that there you know you're going to be dealing with some emotional drama kings and prince and um they're just going to be, you know, acting so childish and stubborn. It, 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 it'll be very, you know, more of a very irritating month for you. Now for singles. you're gonna be extra attractive and high in sex appeal this month Scorpio this month of April but then be very careful you know that karma begets karma and if you don't want to suffer from the bad karma don't do the things that you know it will bounce back at you later on okay you are what you are you're very attractive smart sexy alluring drop that gorgeous but then you know what will be the consequences of it, especially if you're already in a relationship, okay? All right. Now, here, there are actually, you know, first um, first two weeks of this month for singles, the start of, okay? For singles who's already in a relationship, 
You will be receiving good news from someone who's going to be willing to commit or willing to sacrifice or willing to adjust their life just to be with you. So if you're in a long distance relationship, then you will no longer be apart from each other because finally you're going to be living and moving in together. Okay. For single singles, somebody from the past, which is from another city or another possibly another country will also be uh, sending you a message or like uh, there will be some communications that this person will come and visit you from a long long way okay now for those that's already in a relationship or married all together okay it seems like the distance that has been you know that has eaten up your relationship and foundation in the past it will slowly um, you know it will slowly um, minimize and there will be more promises and those plans that you have tried to plan before that did not really pan out well it will finally sink in it will finally materialize during this month okay there will be some issues about the family which the two of you will be resolving there are some financial issues as well or some Somebody from your family who owes you a huge amount of money that, you know, that run away from you, which is your partner is not even aware of it, will also be finally coming out of the surface. And there will be some revelations why this person did whatever they did to you in the past. Okay. Travel that will also be in store for you. You will be happy both at the same time because there will be some family issues that will be relieved, resolved, and will be coming to light. But at the same time, there will be some huge turn of events that will be ending and there will be a brand new beginning. Okay? There are some people that you'll be cutting off that you will treat as already dead or that you will have some more, you know, like a very plain and civil relationship. Or communication or connection okay right after that you will continuously move on with the changes and with the change of pace in your life and you feel like you don't really owe anybody an explanation for whatever you do for whatever it is that you're doing in your life all right now work-wise as I've said that there will be some arguments between two water signs younger and older okay even though it's kind of inevitable for you to deal with these people, you will still have to try and act maturely, professional, and civil right in front of them. Even though they're going to be mocking you, and you know, and they're they're just going to do things to push you and provoke you to act to your defense and uh, lose your temper. But whatever happens, you know that they're only trying to set you up and try to ignore them. Be strong, and nothing. Will actually be taken away from you if you will be a little bit um, patient and understanding because you will be rewarded right at the end of this month and unexpected money will be coming your way bonus reward or commission and you will have a reason to celebrate because something will finally be coming into light or you will be rewarded to your hard work as an extra okay uh. And all those people who's very envious of your career and your success, in, you know, they can just definitely suck it up. Now, sex life. It seems like things are slowly getting better. Things are slowly getting, you know, turning rosy from black and white. But it will be a little bit too much this month because, you know, you'll be very attractive. In front of other people because you know that you're you're starting to become happier you're starting to glow you people started people are starting to notice that you're that you're glowing smiling you know and that you look so happy and radiant however you will also be attracting some toxic people who doesn't want other people to you know to be happy because they're pretty much miserable in their own life so when, when there is someone who will try to deter your focus and your foundation say no Okay, you know what's going to happen if you will go into that kind of um, toxicity and um, unhealthy connection. Okay, karma begets karma. So, aside from that, there will be some insecurities and there will be some jealousies. But then, still, okay, because I feel like some Scorpios have already suffered from, from um, a fear of their partners and uh, from discovering that they've been 
having an affair with a younger co-worker and this is the reason why you cannot really forget and it's so hard for you to move on from the past but then like what i said if you're not going to give your spouse a chance to um to make it up to you then nothing is going to happen okay your partner will be reassuring you that you are the only one at this moment well whatever that's going to happen in the future is something that's still yet to be seen okay now singles a fire sign that is a little bit younger than you will be persuading you and will be pushing you further but then you will be discovering all the lies deceptions and exaggerations that this person will be claiming committing and you will just you know like um, you'll just chuckle and set this person aside that you don't really have time for um, uh, pretentious booze and um, oh. Uh, the thing here is you're going to get caught up and you're going to get stuck with this person because I don't feel like this person knows how to accept no for an answer, okay? Until that there is an older earth sign or a matured earth sign that will be coming your way plus a water sign that will be giving you much more attention and protection. So once this two brilliant and um, great gentlemen steps into your life and this fire sign will be veering out of your way and out of your life okay be careful with the water sign this is the one that will be betraying you but with the earth sign i feel like there will be more of a promising new beginning and promising new life and relationship when it comes to your sex life uh, sorry to your health be very careful in multiple sexual relationships because definitely you might just catch something that you need to heal and go for some medications you also need to gain some more weight but try to eat healthy and you will start to notice that your clothes need some replacement or need some repair because of the, the weight that you have lost again try to quit smoking and gingivitis uh, swollen gums and you will also find that your teeth are slowly falling apart or falling Okay, don't go for an over-the-counter medicine because chances are you might just have more infection than cure. And harmony within the family, water therapy, and just try to avoid eating much and eating unhealthy food, especially the, you know, the instant food or microwavable stuff. Be very careful about that. Vertigo and such extra sensitivity to light, sunburn as well, and again some facial allergies or skin allergies try to offer some light exercise every day for you to pump your blood and for you to pump your you know the, the air in your brain so that you will for especially for those who's been suffering from narcolepsy and you will be very conscious of how you look like externally change of hair as well let's take a look at your may forecast That is really something. Well, at the end of the month of May, it seems like you need to be a little bit careful when it comes to your work because somebody will try to sabotage your success. Oh. And still communications with the fire sign.
somebody will also be slandering you to your bosses or to the higher management but then someone will also back you up and will try to give you or will give you an assurance that everything will be all right somebody's really bitter about your success you know I mean, not all people, you cannot really expect them to be all happy for you. But at least try to be a little bit contented with what you have. Mm -hmm. Feeling like a drunken master this, uh, this month because of some emotional and relationship worries, soaking, light arguments. But then in every argument, in every fight, in every makeup that you do, it will, there will be some more closeness and makeup sex that will also be happening. Three of Swords, Page of Points, Empress, Nine of Swords, Justice, Hagman, Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, Six of Cups, Seven of Wands, King of Swords, Five of Coins, Eight of Coins. This month of May will be, it's more of an average month for you. You can say that it's going to be very sad, bad, horrible, or I can't really say that it's going to be very, you know, outstanding. Now, hmm. There will be some changes that will be taking place in your current relationship status or your current relationship situation, especially when it comes to your communications, because there will be some blurry or vague, um, you know, communications. Like, for example, you're going to say something and then the other person will interpret it as another thing. Okay, so it will just lead to an argument. It will lead to another hurt or pain. And you will just keep on digging up whatever happened in the past. So it's not really healthy. Now, um, this month you will also need a bit of a space okay, to think long and hard about what is it that's causing a lot of friction in your relationship. I'm not saying that you're going to be breaking up again or that you're going to be like uh, separating, but it seems like you just need to have your own space to breathe. Okay, maybe move away from each other, not really see each other for how many days, and you know, think long and hard about what it, whatever it is that you want from each other. Okay, without bickering. Now, you will also be traveling within the next uh, seven days or within the first week of this month of May. You will also start thinking about this person that lives outside of your city or outside of your area and there will be some reconnection or communications and there will be some clarification and revelation 
which is this is an older fire sign or another fire sign and there will be some sudden turn of events okay well there has been a fire sign it's been like in your you know in your life for the past few months as well so i feel like this is also the same and you you know the one that you have kept your walls up and you just said no because you know that this person will only bring you nothing but trouble but then you are the one who will be reaching out to this person by this month and there will be some forgiveness that will be restored letting go and sincerity as well so you will also be working in your own issues the things that has been disturbing you taking a toll on you stressing you out and that you feel so guilty about okay however your partner will somehow learn about this and there will be a big drama that's going to be coming your way by the end of this month and will treat your you know your journey as a betrayal okay so there is another thing to work on or another issue to work with and to work about oh. drama 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 uh, your world will be a little bit shattered you just need to follow your instinct and do what you feel like is right at this point if you feel like it's right to forgive and uh, you know I mean you know to yourself whatever it is that you're gonna be doing okay and your limits your boundaries you just need to set some self-discipline and someday if your partner couldn't really understand whatever it is that you're trying to do someday they will okay what's important is that there are some things that you need to settle and do for yourself all right now when it comes to your workplace you will find it hard to work with your colleagues and to work with your group or with your team members since that some of them will be conniving with each other or will be um, lying right in front of your face and as much as you want to finish off a project or a task responsibility or something that you've been trying to build upon there will expect that there will be some delays and there will be some people who try to pull you down cause you some anxiety and you will also have um, like a frequent attacks of migraine okay to the extent that you need to stay put for a little while at home and there you know right in the middle of the month you will somehow feel like that it's you just wanted to give up but then a younger earth sign will be pushing you and will be giving you some words of wisdom and inspiration and that is how you're gonna get things moving and going there is someone from the higher management or one of your bosses or one of the people that you report to expects that you will be either going down or you're gonna be giving up but then they're gonna be very surprised with the strength that you're gonna be showing and there is another business trip that you're gonna be taking by the end of this month good for you because they've been undermining you anyway now when it comes to your sex life again that you will have two choices but then you know what is going to happen okay as i've said that the person that you have uh, fenced before pushed away put your walls up and said no it seems like there will be well see if you're pretty much inseparable but then you know what is going to happen if you will get close to this fire sign again you know this person would just mean trouble to you and would just bring you another trouble you will try to sneak around for a little while but then you are the one who will be making a decision that enough is enough okay singles you will try and think of just getting pregnant instead of finding the right one but then you will also learn that you you know that you will have some problems um, conceiving or having a baby all right now there will be some resentments that you will remember in the past and <clears throat> I feel like you're gonna be feeling a little bit nostalgic as well during this time and feeling a little bit stuck and reminiscing about the past about the person from the past and about the past and memories from the past and it seems like you will start working on yourself working on your self healing and self discovery and forgiveness oh which is good when it comes to your health during this month um 
more green salad and green dishes. Huh. Yeah, well, more on vegetables. And I feel like you also need to change the grade of your uh, reading glasses. And again, some bone marrow issues and uh, breast issues for women. You will also start gathering around and uh, regaining your faith. And um, we'll try to, what do you call it, socialize with, your, uh, with people who's also like-minded. You will try to increase your appetite. Okay, and opt out for some meditation. It will help you. You also need to detoxify. Plus, again, go to your doctor and check out for possible parasites that's been bothering you. And you will also notice that your right eye is uh, blipping or um, uh, throbbing. Okay, it's because of a possible parasite that's been like crawling in your right eye. And um, um, Oh, you're going to go for some facial treatment, but just be very careful, especially if they are too cheap, okay? It might cause you more damage than care. Anyway, let's take a look at your June forecast. Oh, and you don't really have to change anything about yourself or anything about your, you know, your... Your, your appearance, especially if you're if you want to go for some Botox or nose job and uh, breast augmentation as well. Yeah. Mm, I feel like think long and hard about that. Let's go and check out for the month of June. Moving to relocating, moving to a new direction. Okay. Oh, it seems like the harmony in your relationship will be broken again. Last from the past. Now you can't really get a hold of yourself not to see this fire sign.
Now as for your health this time, Careful with kidney stones. Uh, okay, now, well, this month of June, it seems like you're going to be making a decision, you know? Like things are not really going the way you wanted it to be. And it seems like the two of you will be um, taking a break, okay, for a little while. And it seems like you want to have a vacation of your own. You want to go in a place on your own and uh, go solo for a little while. There will be some communications and there will be, it's like you're gonna be talking through text messages or emails or something like that because you cannot really stand each other while you're talking right in front of each other without you know ending up in a fight or ending up in a drama. Now, you will start to recalculate, analyze the situation, observe, you know, balance the logic and balance everything that this uh, that your partner has been claiming. And it seems like the past keeps on catching up on you. It's taking a toll in both of you. And you feel like it's just really time to give up because you can't seem to forgive. Okay? Now, you will be traveling within the next, within the last two weeks of this month of June and it seems like you're gonna be relocating or moving to a new house feeling a little bit cut off and you'll just keep on concentrating in your work all right and wait for the time being that you're already okay and fine now when it comes to your workplace there will be some there will still be some uh, politics and there will still be some struggles but nothing that you cannot really get through and surpass okay Good news that will also be coming your way in the second week of this month and you will be receiving an additional or like a, it's like there is another, a, 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 like an additional work contract that you will be getting commission reward or like a, you know, recognition for it. But then there will be, so you will be earning more enemies, more people that will be feeling a bit frisky. Okay, it's not that you're going to be bragging about your accomplishments, but the more you shine in front of your bosses and in front of the management, the more people around you will try, will, you know, feel a little bit jealous and envious and hateful. Okay, to the extent that someone who's a younger earth sign will spread the word or will spread a gossip about you that you're sleeping your way up, which is you will definitely be. Uh, getting this person reprimanded because you know to yourself that that is not true okay now when it comes to your sex life you will be very self-conscious you will be getting a makeover and you will also be opting for a breast augmentation which is I've already mentioned this in the month of May and be very careful about that because the um, you know the the consequences will be very deep and will, will be very very something that's unbearable in long term okay um and you will also be having some frequent drinking keep on you know it's like you will keep on thinking about this fire sign that you just said no reminiscing about your good old times the connection the sex and the, the love that you felt but then you wish for this person to be like your partner right now okay so i feel like this month you will be giving in to the unknown and temptation okay singles you will be traveling and you will be joining your friends for a trip yet there is someone that you will be meeting somebody from the past but not for reconciliation but you will find out that this person have already moved on and is already married with kids okay so there will be some pain that will be bringing that will be you know remember again and that some members will be hurting you again and will be disturbing you 
yet you will try to be happy you will try to move on with the help of your friends but then this is also the time that you'll realize that you're so alone and that you feel so left out okay you will keep on working on your it's like you will be looking for some self-healing or self-development and uh, life direction at this point now when it comes to your health it seems like there is not that much issue except that you will be very health conscious rehydration your um, your stamina and your immune system will be boosting stop taking some over-the-counter medicines because that is what's causing you more side effects depression it will be eating you up a little bit and um, well smoking pot is not actually you know recommendable but uh, try to eliminate some unhealthy vices be careful in getting viruses and bacteria from somebody who's already infected and do not touch people if it's not really necessary okay you will start to notice that you are gaining weight as well and you'll be very conscious of your appearance how you look like and you will also be mingling with some like-minded people and will be wearing more accessories or will be changing the way you are okay because you're heartbroken you're depressed and you feel like your relationship your marriage is not really going anywhere so let's take a look at your July forecast Now, as for your March forecast, you'll be attending a um, like a family event or gathering or somebody close to you, which is more likely a wedding, baptismal, anniversary, birthday, or party. And you, you, you know, it's like you're you won't be in the mood to to socialize or to attend a big gathering at this moment. But then you will still have to go, okay? Because um, you will feel so obliged. Now, some people from the past and some old works and colleagues that you will be, you know, that you will be um, seeing, I also feel like you'll be attending a reunion at this point because there are some people from the past that, you know, that it looks familiar and that you once worked and have fun with or an old, you know, old group of friends that you will also be meeting. So you will have a break. Okay, too. This is also a good, uh, good time or good opportunity for you to unwind and for you to waste off all the stress that's been um, compounding inside your mind and uh, that's been like, um, you know, restraining your energy as well. Now, you are thinking that just because that you've already moved away from the fire started by the by the middle of the month, you will somehow feel like you're already free. Okay. You're free and you're already good, you're doing good, you're doing okay, and you're finally able to run away from this person. However, you will find out that this person had done something, more likely spread out an information to your, that will be affecting your work reputation, okay? Let's see if, but there will be some sudden turn of events, and the justice that you will be seeking Will actually be served to you and this person will be responsible for whatever they're gonna do and you will still be traveling again again by the end of this month I feel like you will be putting this person right to where they really belong for real good for them now when it comes to your careers and finances again travel and there will be a sudden turn of events there will be some you know from bad things to good things from good things to bad things and you'll be more likely on a roller coaster month this month of March and things will just settle down right at the last week of this month so you can finally breathe a sigh of relief and uh, you can relax a little bit because finally the chaos and the problems all those um, stressful events that will be coming into your life for the first three weeks of this month will finally be at ease and um, you can have a peaceful foundation or a peaceful start of a new foundation altogether. You will also be protected by those people who believe in you, respect you, and relies on you. Good for you. 
sex life. It seems like this person, this fire sign person, will still keep on pursuing you, but then you will keep on blocking them, or you will keep on blocking this person and um, cutting off. Okay, they will try to seduce you how they used to do it in the past, but then you will just say no altogether. Sexually, I feel like there's still an attraction between the two of you, but then you just feel like this is not really the right attraction or not really the right connection anymore. You just need to say no, okay, and cut it off once and for all. And you don't want to, it's like you don't want to uh, cheat on your partner and ruin whatever that's been being restored at this moment, okay? Which is good. Singles, you'll be very happy momentarily for the first two weeks of this month but unfortunately things will suddenly change when you will be discovering a lie or a deception that you will hear from another source or another person right after your travel and right after you coming from your business trip and all of those lies deceptions masks um truth and this person is also wearing mask will be coming forward along with their lies. You will be confronting them. There will be some bickering and bantering, but then this person will just show no remorse and no whatsoever, okay? So you will somehow feel like, did I really make the right decision? Now, you will still be in a hurl like this, okay? Like, even if you're seeing some red flags already or even if you're, you know, if, this, if the other person is already showing you narcissism and toxicity you will still keep on questioning yourself and but you will still proceed with the relationship for like seven months but hopefully not within seven years okay and you also need to rely on your good friends for their advices and it's time for you to make a decision and step out of this toxic situation before it takes a toll on you now health wise i feel like you just need to stay out of the uh, crowded area because of the, the smell you're gonna be very sensitive to smell and heat and suffocation plus don't stay too late at night your health will start picking up you just need to eat on time your immune system needs some boosting be careful with wild animals and toxic uh, sorry some um what do you call this some exotic food and dishes you will also find more inspiration and more you know happiness because finally the harmony within your relationship and within your domestic life will be restored and you also you will also be opting for some green stuff green food and green um like for example like salad okay oh and uh you will be craving for um spinach this month and aside from that you just need to be careful with your kidney gallbladder and then your pancreas all right Let's take a look at your April forecast. Let's take a look what will be in store for you this month of April. Now, single Scorpios is all within a relationship, okay? Someone will finally be proposing to you, especially if you're with another water sign or earth sign. Well, 
Now, also for those who's been in a relationship or who's been dating somebody for roughly eight years now, three to eight years, this person will finally be making a huge commitment and huge sacrifice just to be with you or to move wherever you are, especially if you're in a long distance relationship. And finally, this is for your October forecast. Okay. Hopefully this one will be a little bit better. Well, you know, when it comes to your careers and finances, it seems like this entire year will be full of travels and opportunity, except that, you know, you can't really expect that nobody will be very envious of your um, success. Okay, so you're going to be a victim of um, bullying and uh, office politics. You know what? Let's shuffle again. Okay. All right. Oh, moving. How are they? Which is you're going to have a hard time moving or finding or relocating or finding the right house for you. Because this air sign will try and prevent you from leaving. They're guilty, but they don't have any plans of stopping.
Well, it seems like for singles, you will also be traveling a lot. And finally, you will be, you know, the same position of earth sign and water sign in one of the months or I just can't really remember which month it is, but it is in the same order. This uh, earth sign and water sign that's going to be um, acting a little bit nasty and, um, you know, full of tricks while the earth sign is the one who will be saving up your glory and reputation. Now, this, um, for this month of October, you will be moving away, okay? I also feel like you're going to go and pack your bags and pack your things and move to a new house or new apartment. However, during this time, it's going to be very difficult for you to go and find another apartment or another house for you. So you're going to be very busy flying here and there or traveling twice this month. Okay, I also feel like the, your spouse will tell you that someone is pregnant around him or that he wants you to get pregnant. Okay, uh, you will feel somehow stuck, but at the same time, you will be very, um, it's like you're going to be very pleased with your decision, that you have made the right decision, the right move. Okay. I feel like it's more likely that they're going to tell you that they have impregnated somebody, okay? It's going to cause you a lot of emotional stress and distress, but um, you feel like it's better off this way, okay? So now you're ready to open to a new chapter, a new beginning, and you're just about to embark on a new journey soon, okay? When it comes to your careers and finances, this is where you're going to be receiving, achieving, and taking the recognition or the promotion that you've been waiting for this entire year, okay? The, um, the opportunity that your boss have promised you, you will finally be harvesting and getting it. But, oh, and one more thing, that you're going to be increasing your, you know, your salary and you're going to have... Um, well, six digits, but it's um, higher than how you used to have, okay? More likely another digit up or another figure up. Um, I also feel like someone around your co-workers or colleagues will be apologizing to you and will be, you know, offering truce or peace offering, all right? You just need to learn your lesson from the past and if this person has been trying to you know um has been trying to befriend you again and uh, repeat whatever happened in the in the past it's just time for you to be civil and draw the line okay and i feel like you will be in the right position to finally call the uh, the shots and to be one of those carriers, okay, or one of the key decision makers. So good for you, Scorpio. Now, sex life. Sex life will be very active, but it seems like you're going to be swinging back and forth, or you're going to have more moments with a person from the past that even though you want to you know, erase or just uh, eliminate this person altogether, but it seems like the two of you are just sticking around together even more tighter than how it used to be in the past. But then, you know, if you know that your life is not really going anywhere with this person, why try to keep them in your life anyway, right? Singles, there's an air sign that will be playing tricks on you, playing mind games with you. That right after saying no to this person, this person will be hitting on a friend of yours or will, or to somebody close to you. Okay, it's just a drama. It's not even for real. Just to make you feel jealous and just to make you feel threatened. However, instead of focusing on that drama and the nonsense situation, you will decide to travel right around the third week of this month and you will be meeting this earth sign and water sign the water sign is actually full of well 
they're both established but the water sign cannot be trusted unlike the the earth sign is very hard working and diligent and uh, i feel like this is the one that you're going to be ending up with this end of the year health wise you just need to rehydrate groom yourself um also change your hairdo your your health will start picking up and uh, your breathing you just need to have some breathing exercise because of your back and because of your lungs and um, bronchial problems um feeling a little bit conscious about how you look like in your vanity dermatological issues and problems now you will have some serious ulcer problems okay because of too much thinking it's not because that you're not really eating on time but it's because of too much eating i sorry too much thinking and you can't really sleep at night all right now don't self-medicate it's much better for you to go and check out with your doctor and opt out for some seafood diet or fish diet or white meat diet and again be very careful with wild animals like bear wolves and um yeah some wild animals that can actually enter your house okay and you also need to do some peace offering or, sorry not peace offering but some more uh, some offering for the um, good health that you are going to be receiving this month and it's also time for you to, de to declutter now let's take a look at your november forecast Some disappointments when it comes to your work. Someone will also be creating a trouble in your new workplace or a new office or a new department. Sorry about that.
others are about to come your way, but then this time uh, there will be some problems, heartbreaks, disappointments that will be coming into your work stuff and um, you will start feeling that there is a cannabis or there is some sort of, um, you know, like a gang play that's been happening right behind you and someone is trying to set you up for trouble but then you will get down into the root cause of it and you will um, confront the people or person who is responsible for that kind of um, you know uh, problem or setup or you know if they feel like it's only a game then it's not really funny well the company will be firing two people around you or whatever they're gonna do to you okay and um, extra money will be coming your way and you will be receiving like an additional bonus commission or reward or recognition and you will also be offering this to a mother figure or to your own mother as a, you know because it's their either their birthday or they're celebrating something that's very special to them Now, when it comes to your work life, it seems like the uh, the success that you're currently having, receiving, or enjoying, like there's more, you feel like there's more, um, what do you call this, like, um, like a consequence, okay, more than good. But you feel like you can't really do anything, you can't say no, and this is not, you know, something that you have planned. It just happened on its own. So what you should do and can do is just accept things as how it used to be or how it is right now. And you will be given more strength, encouragement, words of wisdom, and, you know, guidance by an air sign. And this is where you're going to learn how to be more fulfilled, patient, and um, tacky or strategic towards uh, you know dealing with those dirty office politics and um, this whole thing with the fire sign it's gonna be really over because this month is gonna be their last month <laughs> good for them now when it comes to your sex life you're the one who can only make the, uh, the decision whether it's the air sign or the fire sign Okay, I feel like the air sign you're really done done with this person, but the fire sign is something that's been like on and off, on and off, and you will also learn that this person is still messing around with another person. So that's gonna be it. Okay. It's like you're not the only one in this person's life, so same old, same old. Now singles. It seems like you will be receiving communications or some bad news about a person that you've been dating which is more likely this earth sign and you will also be like uh, drinking and drinking heavily because of uh, you, you're, tr you're just trying to drown your broken heart or your heartbreak and again same old order same order same order earth sign and this water sign and this ace of pentacles and then right after that, things will start getting better. It's just more of your paranoia, I feel. That's the reason why you're going to be feeling so affected. But then it's still you and this earth sign person that will be ending up together. And there will be a celebration or glory. Or you will be celebrating your first month together this end of the month. Okay? When it comes to your health, again, some dysmenorrhea, some pain in your abdomen, um, ulcer, and chest pain this is what you're going to be feeling and so fever and flu okay you also need to be careful with eating i mean in eating seeds and uh, small stuff that can get through and could get affected you could it can also get your appendix um affected or be careful in having appendicitis and aside from that, you're going to learn how to be a little bit more giving, understanding. You will be decluttering. You will also be balancing your schedule, your time, your food lifestyle. And um, just try to stick around with white meat for now because this is, you know, something that you need to avoid, especially oily and fried food. Now, migraines occasionally this last two weeks of the month and... 
aside from that, you're on the in your way to healing and recovery. All right. Let's take a look at your December forecast. It seems like a decision will be coming down this month, you know, for those Scorpios who already filed for a divorce. And you will be celebrating much victory, more like the empty victory, about getting the result and the final decision of the court about your marriage. with this new department that you just you know recently move into I don't feel like you're gonna be very happy because there will be a lot of problems if you feel like you're gonna be moving into a new department or a new job during the time of the right brigade then you have to think long and hard about that Your heart will, you know, single Scorpios, your heart will be broken by an air sign. And it seems like you're going to find out that you are pregnant during this month. Well, you want to get pregnant, right? Because you're, you're about to give up in your love life and finally it's here. Also, a ghost from the past or like um, some problems from the past will also be dawning on you and you will somehow feel a little bit paranoid and you know a little bit uncomfortable in your surroundings plus you will be dreaming about an ex that has really moved on from you for the past few years so I feel like there is somebody who wants to get in touch with you from the past, but they don't know how to contact you. That's why they are just trying to send you some symbols and signals through your dreams. It's like they are tr trying to contact you spiritually. 
news will be coming and there will be like a current decision that you will be receiving this month. I feel like this is something that you've already been anticipating, but it's more likely an empty victory. Okay, why empty victory? Because there's no winner and there's no loser in this game or in this situation. But, you know, for some reason, this is what you really wanted. And you've been like, you know, praying for this to happen. So, you know, just to be free from the toxic situation and narcissistic ex of yours. All right. You will be crying for one last time, but then that's it. You just couldn't really wait for the right time to begin a new life, a new chapter again. Now when it comes to your works and finances, finances will become more stable, but then it seems like the uh, the transfer or the new department that you're into will, will incur more problems. So I feel like it's time for you to, you know, do something about it before things could get even worse. And you will somehow feel a little bit alone because none of your team members or none of your subordinates want to listen to you. And you will be talking to your superior that you're already having a lot of hard time adjusting and being in the position. But you will learn how to cope up and you will be raising your own swords. Okay? And you will be putting your foot down. Now when it comes to your sex life, you're going to be a little bit full of tricks this time. Uh, this month and uh, you're going to be very conscious of your you know of your appearance you will also be losing weight you're going to get back into shape you're going to uh, die for some facial treatment and stuff like that and you will show to your ex what they have lost and what you're really made of okay now when it comes to your singles an air sound will be breaking your heart it will be tearing you apart and you will also learn at the same time that this month you're going to get pregnant, okay? You'll be very busy with your work, especially for those who's working in the field of media, events, and advertising or fashion. There will be three series of events that you're going to be very busy. And it's, you know, it's also, you know, big that will be giving you a lot more money. And, uh, you know, this person that you're going to be in a, in a relationship with, I got the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Both are very bad. Okay, deep betrayal, deep wounds, and deep damage that they're going to be leaving to you. When it comes to your health, it seems like you will slowly recover, except for some um, cold, flu, fever, and oh, your nails will also become brittle. Your immune system will start getting up and uh, will recover as well. And you just need to offer some light meal and light diet. No heavy meat or no red meat. Be very careful with some wild animals. And still, okay? Learn how to give in the clutter. And check out your eyesight and your vision as well. And your focus, all right? Let's take a look at all of your oracle cards. Finally, we're at the last leg of your reading. January, Feb, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. All right. Find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? 
In February, choices when you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make, you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. You'll be able to listen to and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outside world. Ancestral wisdom, we are your ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We ask you at this point in time to learn and grow from your past experiences. You are our legacy and will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world. Now, strength and strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You're never really alone as we're always with you. Soul power, always remember you are a soul that comes with a body and not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is a true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. Believe the force that works through your soul, determining what's possible or impossible, the difference between success or over failure, and above all who you are is the power of your belief. This is for the month of June. Now, for the month of July, relationships, relationships are just a mirror images of your own life. How you feel and treat yourself as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. Now, for the month of August, breathe. The breath is the vital bridge between your body and soul. It's the connection between the inside and outside, connecting you to the universe, spirit, and divine source. The breath permits your entire being with prana, which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe. September. Take a moment. Stop now. It's not the not now. <laughs> It's not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. October. Soul solitude. Your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet. A place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, and a time for you. November, Mother's Love. Mother's Love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. December, stay connected. We are all born connected to spirit, often known as the divine source. Yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world. Now is an important time to reconnect to the source. All right, so anyway, that's it for you for this year. Scorpio, and if you want to have your own personalized annual forecast, go and visit me at my website. It's vangel.net. And you may also talk to me live on the phone and live the calls. My time will be a little bit limited from November 4th, November 4th until December 27th, okay? You just need to be a little bit more patient with me and stay in queue, all right? Blessings to you and have a great 2019.